fiancé admitted to cheating before our wedding, now I'm torn between forgiving her or ending the relationship and losing her family. I, 28M, proposed to my fiancé, 28F, last year in June, and our wedding is currently booked for October 5th of this year. The venue is already half paid for, $24,000 total, as well as our services like DJ, officiant, photographer slash videographer, etc. Just tonight, through plenty of conversations spanning the last two months, it finally came out that my fiancé cheated on me a month and a half ago with an old flame that randomly popped back up in her life. Let me rewind things for a moment. My fiancé and I met just a little over three years ago during COVID through mutual friends. We had gone to high school together but never spoke to each other then, and one night during a virtual games night we connected and I felt a strong urge to make a move, despite everything being locked down during the pandemic. I asked her if she wanted to go for a walk through our local park since everything was shut down, and she told me she'd love to. Next thing I know, we really hit it off big times and she essentially moves in the next day. We both connected on so many levels, the immediate attraction and connection was obvious, and from there we would only see our relationship blossom and grow without any end in sight. Like any relationship, we've hit some bumps in the road along our journey, but three plus years later I can say that we've always grown from these bumps and everything always seems to only get better. These bumps being things like petty arguments, differences in opinion, that sort of thing. She's the only person who I've ever felt I can truly grow with and always trust that things will be okay, especially since our communication is on a level that I've never known with anyone else. For all of these reasons, I've always felt that we're perfect for each other and last year I proposed to her without a doubt in my mind. SH, E said yes. And we were both over the moon. I should mention that she's incredibly close with her family, while I am not very close with mine. Since the beginning of our relationship, her family took me in and immediately made me feel like one of their own. I love her family almost as much as I love her, and I know they feel the same about me. After being engaged for almost a year, we're most of the way through wedding planning and I thought that things were better than never before. Until a few months ago. My fiancé brought up in late March that she was really nervous about the wedding. No biggie, I talked her through it like we always do and she felt much better. She mentioned her worries were around entering the next chapter of life and saying goodbye to her early 20s and younger years. I assured her that this next chapter will be just as amazing and she seemed to react well. A couple of days go by and she's stressed out again, this time providing a few more details about feeling like we're entering the boring chapter. Again, no biggie, I talk her through this one and she reacts well again. This goes on for about a couple more days, and I can tell she's getting cold feet a bit. We continue to talk about these things in open communication and the conversation ends up directing towards some shortcomings in our relationship. For a few days we work together to identify the route of these issue. She tells me she knows it's not my fault, but that she's feeling a lack of romance. We go over every minute detail, and while some things are valid, like each of us needing to make more of an effort, we identify that there's nothing else really missing romance-wise. Eventually, after enough communication, she feels instantly better and the worries go away. Cue the guilty era. My fiancé starts feeling better about everything, and keeps profusely apologizing for how she was acting and how she's actually very excited to get Mar. Read. Every time, I reassure her that it's fine. You got cold feet, that's perfectly normal, and I'm happy you're over it. But the apologizing continues, for the better part of a month. At this point I'm kinda feeling like something's up, so I provide a safe space to come clean and ask her what's really going on. She breaks down, and explains that what she was feeling before about our relationship was very real, and a couple weeks into it, an old flame of hers reached out for the first time in over three years to see how things are going. She mentioned that the conversation was very appropriate, at first, until he started to come onto her, despite knowing she's now engaged. She told me, to her own guilt, this made her feel some excitement after having felt like that was something that was lacking in our own relationship. She then explains that she shut the conversation down immediately and that she's felt immense guilt ever since. I just appreciate her honesty. We talk through this like we do everything else and laugh about how it could have been so much worse. If only I knew. She mentioned to me a week later that her and her best friend have a Toronto day planned, we live outside of Toronto and this is a very normal thing that they would do. I'm quite close with her best friend and thought nothing of it. She has her Toronto day with her friend, and makes it back to me the next day. From here, things continue like normal. However, the guilty conscience never stops. My fiancé continues to profusely apologize about the time she was getting cold feet and talk to that guy. I keep reassuring her that it was okay and that we were able to work through it, until I figure something's up. Again, I provide a safe space for her to tell me what's really happening, and she tells me she didn't, just backslash see her friend in Toronto, she went with her friend to meet up with this guy and to get closure. She explains that she and this guy had a complete, cat had passed, and that him popping back up like that needed to be resolved. So she told her best friend, who advised against it at first, but decided to go with her so that nothing would happen. She explains this is why she's been so guilty, and reassured me that nothing happened but that the guilt of keeping this from me has been eating her alive. I'm hurt, but our communication has been solid to this point and I'm just happy she found the courage to tell me. We go through it, but in the end I feel we come out stronger. 
For weeks, our relationship only seems to improve and our bond grows much stronger. At this point there isn't a doubt in my mind that we'll have a beautiful future together. Cue more guilty behavior. Weeks of this continue and eventually, I lie. I tell her that I know the truth of what actually happened, and she has to tell me the events that really took place for us to proceed I our relationship, I was bluffing. She comes out with the truth, the full truth, and nothing but the truth. She tells me it wasn't just a conversation, and her friend wasn't there. She went to his place in Toronto and stayed the night, they talked about where they left off and where she is now, one thing lead to another and they slept together. I'm mortified, and she goes on to explain that both of them felt absolutely terrible about it. She mentioned that they both agreed to never speak of it again and both blocked each other entirely after saying goodbye for the last time. This is, truly backslash why she's felt so terribly guilty. After this conversation I can tell she's told the full truth. The worst part is I can see just how remorseful she is, but it doesn't take away the hurt it's causing me. I kicked her out tonight, she's now at her mom's place while I write this post. In our own home. The thing is, after everything we've been through I know she's telling the entire truth. I know she's truly remorseful and that this was complete, telly out of character for her. I know the only reason she lied was because she couldn't believe her own actions, and wanted to spare me from the pain. I now that she and this guy are done, and she could never see herself pursuing things further with him after everything that went down. I completely believe her story, we've talked for hours about it, and this is the woman I've known for three plus years. Not that woman that ran around behind my back. But it still doesn't take away the pain I'm feeling. I still love her, and I do believe a future exists where we can work through this. But at the same time I'm worried that things will never be the same again between us, no matter how much trust is regained. I worry that we'll never look at each other the same, and that the future we've always pictured together will forever be stained with this thing that lasted no more than a single day in Toronto. I feel there's so much on the line with ending things here. We have the wedding coming up, and I'll be losing her, now mine as well, entire family whom I also love so much, in addition to the future I've always dreamed of. I haven't told anybody I know Earl yet, my mom is asleep and I'm weighing the impact of telling those I know personally. I can only imagine she will need to fess up to her mother tonight having been kicked out without her engagement ring. I'm laying awake here, and weighing all of the options. Please help me by providing your perspective. Please let me know if you need any more information to form an opinion. I'm insanely lost right now. Update 1 I should also clarify, this post wasn't my way of hearing only what I want to hear, that everything is going to be okay with a little work and communication. I appreciate those of you who have taken this perspective as well. Reading so many of the replies, there are honestly too many to read, it's really helped me gain a ton of outside perspective while also talking with people in my life. E about it. The first person I talked to about this was my mom, my dad passed some years ago and she's always been the person I tell everything to. I thought for sure that when I brought this up she'd say this is it, cancel the wedding immediately you two are done. But instead, she listened to everything I was saying and was very understanding of everything. Not that she's okay with any of this, but she knows what kind of relationship we have and after discussing all of the details she came to the conclusion that this is something that can be worked through if I can ever find it in myself to forgive her, and if she's completely willing to take all of the next steps to tackling this head on. She recommended that we have an honest conversation about absolutely every part of it, that I will need to read every single text between her and him, we should go to couples counseling, we will both need to make sure this guy is entirely out of the picture, and that my fiancé will also need a psychological evaluation. I called my fiancé last night, who was completely beside herself, and didn't promise anything in regards to working through this but told her that we will need to meet at some point to cover some of the points above. She's completely agreed to all of it, and I understand that in her position she will say anything to keep us together, but I can tell she at least wants to help me gain closure on this situation no matter which way it goes. She's told her mother and best friends what she did, and is completely ready to own this as her cross to bear. Last night on our call, she came out with everything and said she would like me to read all of the texts, telling me the worst of them. I'm not gonna lie guys, I haven't even been able to read them yet but she's told me what she believes is the worst of the worst and some of them are incredibly tough pills to swallow. At this point, the things they texted each other are actually a lot worse than the fact that th, a slept together. From here, I think we're going to take some more space and I'm going to do a lot of soul searching before we meet again about this. My takeaway from our conversation last night is that she's done with this guy for good now, and that I'll see the texts that prove it on top of the fact that she now has her immediate family holding her accountable for it. I know that this doesn't completely erase the possibility of them doing this again, and I'm going to be digesting what this actually means for a while. I plan on updating this post again when there's more to share, but for now, thank you everybody for the overwhelming show of support and care. Please don't think I'm just going to cave and act like we can get through this, this is going to be the most important decision of my life to this point and I promise I would just cut all contact right now if I truly didn't believe there was anything worth salvaging.